in the tournaments uh, with a different name every time. Today is I like the most, I think. But we strike the we strike the Yoshi's. Okay, are we no no hand warmers? We're going straight into this. All right. So the thing about this game, uh, this matchup, really, uh, as a as a Mars player, I, I understand is basically aside from just spacing and just landing hits from neutral, the biggest thing that really affects the match is the grab. And we saw right there, all of that all that happened to Landstar was set up from a few down throws. And there we go, see, down throw. And that's, a, that's a scary thing about Sheik. Like, Sheik's down throw sets up for a lot with Sheik on almost the entire cast. Right. Even when the combo is over, you end up on the platform or something. It takes, it's very difficult to get back to central stage. Yeah. And, and as long as the Sheik reacts fast enough, there, there's almost always a follow up for it. Well, oh, Lancer is definitely going for a lot of grabs. He's going for a lot of grabs, but he's not landing many. Oh, he calls the... Actually, he's surprised by uh, Shrek's angle and the upbeat. And gets him to edge. Lancer going for a deep edge guard as well. I do I do commend the effort at trying to go off stage to fight Sheik, or at least uh, edge guard Sheik, but okay, that was good temper, or wherever it was. I believe it was temper. But the thing is that, you know, you have to be careful with going too deep as more. Oh. Sorry, missed a few, I think, almost guaranteed grabs off the air. Yeah. Ooh, okay, Shrek barely makes it back onto the stage. Landstar respects that. Get a grab, hit the shy guys as well. Oh, Randall actually may have saved uh, Shrek. I'm not sure how much that changed things. So it looked like uh, it looked like Lancer wanted to go for a reverse up B edge guard. And something else I'm noticing is that Lancer is doing what? Wow. Ooh, wait, see that, that that's Shrek what did not expect. That up yeah, see that that's what he's trying to go for the other time. It's a it's a risky choice, but it definitely has big rewards because of the angle it sends you. And quick down there from Blastor, evening it out, despite starting this game out with a big uh, deficit. Blastor is brought it back. Ooh, and Blastor follows the tech with an F smash. And here we go with Randall shenanigans once more. Ooh, Phantom Jab, that was interesting. But I believe, I forgot who it was, but someone mentioned here, I think it was last week, that if Randall uh, interferes in the match once, you can be guaranteed that he'll interfere with the match again. <laughs> Just like that. But Landstar is definitely uh, a player that loves his tippers. He usually loves going for S matches. Uh, generally, it's, I don't know if it's really hard reads or, or, or uh, reaction, it's kind of hard to tell it's sometimes the way you throw them out. But it's definitely something that he's uh, very known for among our local community. There we go. Yeah, uh, back row tipper. Yeah, Shrek DI'd in. That was perfect, perfect DI for him to get land S smash. And that's kind of a DI trap too, especially if you don't attack. Oh, I don't. They were on top of a platform, so Shrek yeah, just DI'd away. He, 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 he would have been safe. Yeah, he, could, he couldn't attack. But that's, that's what I was getting. That's what, I was, that's what I'm getting at. That you know, if you, if you DI away, you're safe from more throw. But the idea is, which way is away? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm not, like, forward and so on. oh wasn't it? Too I don't think it was, but I'll, I'll take Ken's word for it. That was a temper. Is what, does Lancer land all these off of breeds? Like, maybe he guessed that uh, Shrek would go for the platform recovery there. That's the thing, that's, I, I, I'm not sure if it's hard, if it's reads or reactions. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. That one probably was a, was more of a half lead, half reaction. That like you saw Lancer move, so he thought, okay, he's gonna roll it all right, I think. Oh, she go for the throw again. That's sort of trying to dance uh, for B, Dancing Blade, to avoid the, the chain grab or the shake follows, but he's just racking up more damage. Trying to get out. Okay, so he has center control. 
and <laughs> follows up there to Tipper. Yeah, he calls out uh, Shrek going for the edge there. Drifting for the edge. And these tech chases from Lanzar. Crouch canceling the gap into an S smash. Rest on space animals, so not so much against Sheik. I don't know why that would be. Like, seem pretty similar in strength. I'm Maybe not sure not either. Back. Maybe it's the angle. The, the angle that they send you, send you at it. Oh. Well, Last are definitely uh, <laughs> showing some dominance in this in this matchup more than last match right now. Started off with a strong lead and held on to it. And despite me uh, saying that this was largely this match was largely based on grabs, I feel like Lancer, aside from some uh, up throws, didn't really get too much off of his throws in, in his turn. He's just getting a lot from uh, hits into S match basically. <laughs> What's the normal follow up for Marth after his throw? I mean, after, there he went for a pivot F smash. After a throw, it really depends on her DI. Oh, okay. But so it is up. going for F smashes. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, like F smash like that to end the match. That was a that was a dirty tech read. 